Daytona tomorrow night in his Xfinity Series. Coca-Cola Firecracker 250, that's the telecast presented by Subway. Saturday night on NBC, Monster Energy Cup Series, Coke Zero 400, powered by Coca-Cola. That coverage is beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern. Take a look at the Monster Energy playoff standings, and Martin Truex Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, top five right now, multiple wins for the top four. You see the playoff points on the right side. All the drivers with wins, with the exception of Logano because his wasn't in cover, but you see those drivers in yellow. They have locked in to the playoffs. It will come with 10 races to go, and playoff points are very important this year. Well, they are, but I think the whole storyline is that those highlighted drivers, there's 10 of them, which means there's still only six spots available in points, and the names of those drivers that haven't won is still remarkable. Kyle Busch, Jamie McGrory, Denny Hamlet, Joe Logano, and Matt Kenseth down in 17th. These are drivers that I think everyone expects to win. So where two, three, maybe four of those drivers win, you start moving that red line around, you know, it looks like... Boyer and Logano are above it, but you get a couple or three more winners, and next thing you know, they can be 50 or 60 points out. And that's the key, is even Kyle Busch in 11 can't feel good about plus 119. Well, that sounds crazy. If you get a couple winners, he could quickly turn into plus 30, not because he lost points, but because he lost spots available. So I really believe that the win in your end, the win in your advance, that needs to be the mantra for all these teams, Jeff. They have to be looking to get the victory lane to assure themselves a spot. I think it's safe to assume that you're going to have three more winners. And, and now there's only three people to get in on points. So, and then just look at the bottom three. Hamlin, Logano, Boyer. Now, I know Boyer hasn't had the speed that Hamlin and Logano have, but when you want to talk about consistency, Clint Boyer is one of the very best at knocking down races and getting points. So look how tight it's going to be if we have three more winners and it's down to three spots. And by the way, down there on the other side of the cut line is Matt Kenta, the former champion. So the pressure's on. The playoff, I know the playoffs don't start tomorrow, but in all these drivers' heads, they start Saturday night. The days are getting numbered. And there are only 10 races until the playoffs do begin, so things definitely ramping up. The intensity definitely ramping up. Final practice continuing after this.